Welcome to this Camp Cloud demo. In this demo, we're going to show you how to set up an Access IP camera with Camp Cloud. In particular, we're going to show you our new Access Camera Auto Setup tool. It greatly simplifies the setup and integration of an Access camera with Camp Cloud. Access IP cameras are great cameras. They've got lots of features and capabilities but they also have a lot of settings so sometimes users that are new to Access or new to Camp Cloud uh, find the settings a little bit overwhelming so we've taken the, the step to create a simple tool that automates uh, virtually all of the setup required uh, to get an Access camera working with Camp Cloud so let's go ahead and show you first we have to log in securely to our Camp Cloud account takes a second and once we're logged in we are directed to the cameras page the cameras page is really the hub of the cam cloud system uh, this is where you have a list of all your cameras that have been set up you have access to features like global motion detection uh, I'm not going to go into these features in really much detail in this demo we have other demos available for that uh, but I will say that you can see that we do have one camera set up a webcam in the basement uh, so that's the existing camera that we have and now I want to add an additional camera and so I'm going to go ahead and obviously add an Access IP camera and when I do that a new little form opens up with a bunch of settings uh, the only thing you really need to do is add in the camera name so we're going to call it office uh, in our case it's a camera being used at our office so that's what we're going to call it uh, the other settings are things like camera quality, motion detection, and whether or not you want email alerts when there's an emotion event. These are all things I'm going to just leave at the default uh, because they're perfect for what I want to do. Uh, also, the we default your external IP address for you. Uh, again, just making things a little bit simpler. Uh, that is correct. And we also default the port number. Now, if you don't know what that means or why you need to do that, don't worry. For the vast, vast majority of uh, Access users, port 554 is uh, the correct port. Uh, in our case, though, we have a bit of a more complex uh, and, I guess, customized network uh, setup uh, here at the Camp Cloud uh, offices because, uh, of course, we have lots of cameras running. So in our case, we're going to make it port 1026. So just to show you, you can actually override any of these settings uh, to whatever you want. Uh, but I'm going to leave uh, virtually all the defaults in place except for the port number and once that's done I press add. Now our auto setup tool is launched it does require Java uh, most people have Java installed but you have to just quickly accept uh, that you're going to run Java from a trusted source which is Cam Cloud, and the new tool opens up and so really the only pieces of information we need are the internal IP address for the camera and the uh, password for the root account in the camera. These aren't things that we can default for you. They're uh, pieces of information that you just need to know uh, yourself. Uh, and they're actually quite easy to get. Once you have an access camera on your network, uh, you can find the IP address. Uh, you, know, you, should probably, you probably already know it, uh, but if you're not sure, you can just go to your list of um, devices uh, shown inside Windows Explorer uh, for example that'll show you uh, where your uh, what the IP address is if you go into the properties for that device uh, there are a bunch of ways to do that in my case I already know what the IP address is so I'm gonna put it in and then of course I know what the password for the root account count is and I simply then press submit and once I press submit a little confirmation box uh, is open and just confirming uh, the changes that we're going to make to your access camera and we just want to confirm that uh, the user is okay with that uh, but in essence what we need to do is we need to remove the existing users event servers motion uh, settings and uh, events that have been set up uh, on your access camera and then replace them with the correct settings uh, across these different uh, features uh, with the correct settings uh, so that it can properly integrate uh, with the Camp Cloud service. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to press continue. And so then the um, 
CamCloud tool runs through its process and confirms that it completed the configuration successfully. We also include a friendly reminder not to forget to uh, update uh, router settings. You do need to have port forwarding uh, to properly use and access camera with CamCloud. Uh, it's a fairly straightforward thing to do, but it's the last of the network settings required. Uh, we've already done that here, so I press OK and I accept all the settings. And now you see here we have an additional camera added to the list. And of course, it's the access camera uh, set up uh, in the office. So just to show you that this is all set up and working, we'll head on over to the live view and turn it on. And so now what this page does is it, from a list of cameras, it will show you uh, cameras available to go and grab uh, live video from. And we're going to do that from the office camera here. The first time you start it, it just takes a couple seconds. And then you see here, you see live video uh, from inside uh, the CamCloud offices. And so that is the demo of how to set up an Access IP camera with CamCloud. Hope you like it.